Good afternoon from the Chesapeake Bay to ports of call around the world. Navy football is on the air. While the Navy midshipmen are on the road, the Navy football radio team is back home broadcasting from Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. I think other sports are difficult to do on TV. Football, I don't know uh, if that's necessarily one of them. The game is still the game and that part of it doesn't change just because you're not in the stadium. Watching the game on television in real time, the crew is broadcasting the play-by-play -play over the airwaves. This is what you do when you're <laughs> nine, ten years old. You call games off of TV. One of the, the traps you could fall into by watching the game on TV is broadcasting it like you were on TV. I think we've still made it sound like a radio broadcast. The calls stay the same. 50 in Air Force territory, and he's finally gonna go down. The technology is normal, so are the team notes. But other things are different. When the team's on the road and we're relying on the, the TV broadcast, uh, we really don't have any control on what's on the screen. You're sort of a, you're sitting back and watching it from a, from a different perspective. Without the sights and sounds to go off of, the crew is relying heavily on each other. Their teamwork is key to the broadcast success. We have an incredible chemistry. I think we all have a natural cadence and a rhythm. They understand, uh, you know, where I am. I'm going to give them the same thing, whether I'm watching it on TV or watching it live. Like so many things during the pandemic, the radio crews needed to adapt. But at the end of the day, the goal's the same. Share the Navy story to fans across the country. Everything that goes into the broadcast, just because you're not there, to me, that doesn't change. And I think we understand the responsibility that comes with uh, you know, getting this information and describing this game uh, to our listeners. For Navy Sports, I'm Phil Bergman.